y'all, Mrs. Z here with a surprise video. Uh, my husband and I were having dinner tonight and we realized that we did not know where all of the explosive holes were. And upon a quick Google search, nobody else does either. Um, like there have been Google uh, articles written about them and but nobody actually knows where they are. So last night, Oh, technically it's tonight, but last night for me, I made a map for everybody to share and I wanted to show us some little tips and tricks and whatnot that I have found with the explosive holds that we have now in Season 8 Apex Legends. So without further ado, here is the video. Uh, don't forget, hit that like and subscribe button, turn those notifications way on, and check out our Discord linked below. Uh, if you would like the map, I have it um, pinned in my Discord. Um, and I've also released it on Twitter, which is also linked below. I always forget to say I have a Twitter. I have a Twitter account um, and a Discord. Everything is down below uh, in the description of the video. Again, thank you so much for checking out the video. Enjoy the video, y'all. So first thing that I do want to start off with, um, just kind of like as a fun little thing that I read in the Apex blog, which is also linked below. Um, the all the new tints and everything that we're seeing in the area are from the ecological cleanup and hazard re outreach um which is due to fuses uh gunship falling from the sky and essentially causing a huge ecological disaster on king's canyon uh and i just i just kind of thought that, that was like a fun little tidbit of information uh and now moving on to the explosive holds so the reason that they are everywhere is that when uh, Fuse's ship came crashing down, several mobile armories that were being stored in its cargo bay were lost and scattered across King Can King's Cape. Although they require security clearance to open them, Crafty Legends have discovered that a well-placed ordinance can blow those doors open, granting access to weapons and valuable attachments. So uh, that is the that is the lore reason behind having the explosive holds all over King's Canyon. I thought it was a really uh, fun way to kind of introduce them instead of them sticking with uh, the bunkers which have all caved in. So if you didn't know before, you can't find bunkers because they don't exist anymore because they caved in. We're going to blame it on Fuse even though it's not really Fuse's fault. We're going to blame it on Fuse. I mean, I guess we could blame it on Max, but yeah. So now on to the fun things that I've learned about the explosive holes. All right, so first things first, any type of grenade can open an explosive hold. You've got thermites, arc stars, and frag grenades, uh, all of which will open them. Do not throw the grenade at the explosive hold. It will not open. Um, I've seen a lot of people try this from randoms to people on my team, like every single time, like don't throw them. It's not gonna work. You have to actually walk up to the explosive hold Hold down uh, whichever button it is for you on whatever uh, game type you play on, whether it's Xbox, I don't PC, you hold down E. Then you see a really cute little animation of your character putting the uh, grenade into the explosive hold box, and then the box blows up, uh, effectively blowing the doors open. Uh, one also thing that I learned that was pretty cool is that you actually don't get any damage from the doors busting open. I've tried it, I tried it twice last night with Lifeline, uh, once with a shield, once without a shield, and I took no damage standing at the door uh, while it blew up. So you don't get any damage from it. Um, I don't know if that's something they're gonna change. I don't know if that's something that they meant to include, or if you are supposed to include damage, so you do need to back up. Um, it might be a bug, but I've not, I've not gotten any damage from the, uh, from, from opening up the bunkers, uh, no matter how, whether I'm standing right next to them or whether I, I stand further away from them. All right. And another fun thing about the, the holds is they open in the front and the back. Little tip here though, if you open it in the front and you've got an enemy coming in from the rear, they cannot open the bunker without you opening up the, that other door that you did not open. They cannot be opened from the outside once a door has been opened. So if you open the front door, but you don't open the back, then no one can enter the back door without you, in fact, opening it up. So if you're in a pickle, granted, you know, it's not exactly a good place to be in, but 
there is ammo and some hops sometimes there's uh, gold uh, magazines in there it's kind of it's kind of hit or miss about what you find in there but there's normally uh, weapons ammo uh, not a lot, but just a little bit, and then uh, a couple attachments for the weapons, anything ranging from blue uh, to gold. I've not seen any white attachments showing up in the bunkers or in the holds, so that's that's definitely a plus. But if you are if you land hot, you happen to grab a grenade first, run straight to the hold, open it up, uh, and then um, make sure you only open up one side. You can you can loot up fairly well weapon wise. I have not seen any armor. I do not believe that armor will be included in these. All right, and here is the map that I created because I could not find a single map showing all of the explosive holds. Um, I, I couldn't find one anywhere. I googled it, searched on YouTube, couldn't find it. So in my experience, if you can't find something, uh, if you have the skills, make it yourself. Uh, so I've got uh, this map right here. We put we've, we've gone all over the map. I'm sorry if they're not exactly they're, they're, I'm pretty sure they're all exactly on the map where they are, um, and I do apologize if I've missed one or two. If I did, please let me know down in the comments uh, or jump into the Discord and show me on the map where it needs to be added, and I can definitely add it and uh, send out an updated uh, map for you in case you, you know, in you know, in case you're like a map person like I am. I love seeing maps. I love seeing things on maps. Uh, makes my life easier, especially if I'm trying to figure out where I want to land or if you've got like certain challenges. Uh, it's kind of nice knowing where these things are. So uh, right now, this the and the reason why I've made the map is it, it's looking like every single map, the exact same explosive holds show up in the exact same places. Um, their loot is always randomized in them, but uh, the hold locations have not changed at all. So I'm not sure if that's going to be a permanent thing. I don't know if they're going to change them uh, maybe in the next season. Um, but I'm thinking that they're probably just going to stay exactly where they are at all times. And that's perfectly fine because they are replacing all of the uh, loot bunkers. So that's always good too. But yeah, thank you. All right, and that is everything so far that I have been able to determine about the explosive bunkers. Not a bunker, it's a hold, the explosive hold. Um, were there any that I missed? I don't know if I missed any, um, or if you have heard anything um, else about them. Let me know down in the comments below. Go team!